Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 170 of our great tour of the famous series. This video is the continuation of our visit of Santa Cruz Memorial Park in Tansa in search of notable individuals and famous celebrities interred in this part of Cavite. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a former provincial governor, DILG secretary, and NBI director. Located at the western side of the park, we found the nicely built Velasco Mausoleum and the final resting place of former governor, Epimaco Velasco. Epimaco Ardina Velasco was born in December 1935 in Tansa. He was a former provincial governor, TILG secretary, NBI director, and NBI agent. Velasco initially worked as helper at Manila City Court while studying at Lyceum of the Philippines where he completed Bachelor of Laws in 1960 before joining NBI as its agent in 1962. Velasco is best remembered as one of the NBI agents that tracked and killed public enemy number one, Nardong Putik, along Manila Cavite Highway near Noveleta in the early morning of 10 October 1971. Pax, come Velasco's subsequent public service foes were Assistant NBI Director from 1988 to 1992, NBI Director from 1992 to 1995, Cavite Provincial Governor from 1995 to 1998, and as TILG Secretary for five months from February to June 1998, replacing Robert Barber's that ran for 1998 Senate seat. In 2001 election, Velasco ran as congressman for Cavite's 2nd District but lost to former ABS-CBN reporter Gilbert Rimulia. In 2004, Velasco again ran for Cavite governor but lost to incumbent governor Ayong Maliksi. The life story of Epimaco Velasco was immortalized in the 1994 movie titled Epimaco Velasco NBI starring Fernando Po Jr. with Charlene Gonzalez. Pinatawag niya raw ko, sir. Oh, oo. Mabupo ka. Well, I'd like to congratulate you and your men for a job well done in the Big Four case. Salamat to, sir. Nabasa mo ba ang jari ngayon? Oo, sir. Tuto ang newspaper accounts. But two of our agents were brutally murdered. Sir, hindi ko malapit-lapitan. Hindi ko na sinundan. Baka makahalata eh. In January 2014, 
Velasco died because of heart failure. He was 78. Velasco shared tomb with wife Yolanda who died few weeks after his death in March 2014. Beside their tomb was their son Emmanuel, a former Cavite prosecutor who died of heart attack eight months earlier in May 2013. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in mga bayani in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more grade 2 videos including Manila Memorial Park and Loyola Memorial Park in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next grade tour of the famous episodes.